Evening, everyone. This is S's Spade right now. And I say good evening because I am very late doing this. At the time of recording, it's 7.15 p.m., so I am very, very late. And that's a, I'm, at a, I'm at a campfire. I am at yet another new and noteworthy, beautiful, beautiful world. La, 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 la. And uh, before we get into everything I did, I'll just uh, pull up this world real quick. So let me, let me get rid of this camera for you. Okay, so the world is under the window noteworthy. We are in Aurora Shallot by Dia Kawaii BR. And it's a uh, take a deep breath and let the tranquility walk over you. This cozy retreat offers stunning views of a peaceful lake surrounded by snow capped peaks and advanced pine forest, beans, lockable doors, YouTube search, pens, and mirror. And yes, there is. A YouTube search, but it's up here. This, this is your video player, and you can adjust this ball. You know, he can do all of that, but it's it's um, it's up here. I don't have a good explanation for it, other than there it is. And there's a hammock in this water. I don't know why, but anyway, it is quite nice. And yes, Aurora, I like it. I haven't explored everything else, but anyway, the reason why I am so late knowing this is one, that cat has definitely been getting in our house a lot today. The kids keep doing it too, they keep letting him in too. And somewhere along the line, this is going to get us in trouble because that's not our cat. And we're not supposed to have cats anyway. That's not our cat, it's the neighbor's cat. I don't want the neighbors getting mad at us and I don't want our landlord getting mad at us. But anyway, um... Well, the reason why I'm so late is, yes, I was playing Starfield because, you know me, I really like Starfield. Especially right now, it's keeping me away from playing PSO2 because I decided, and, you know, I've had enough. But, uh, I got distracted because I decided to do a very long time, a time-consuming experiment that particularly boring. Why, what I decided to do is I... went into console commands and I adjusted the boost speed velocity where, you know, the boost speed and how long it lasts, plus how long or how quickly it recharges. And I wanted to do an experiment. Because usually, if you say, say you lift off from New Atlantis, and then you need to travel to the eye, you can't just fly there. You have to fast travel, you have to travel, you know, fast travel to it. Because when you look at the, the space marker, or the map marker, Oh, the eye over Denison. It's like over 13,000 kilometers if it's right above New Atlantis. Uh, excuse me. And eat, no matter how fast you go, eventually you're going to see its distance circuiting further away from you. So I wanted to see whether or not there was a maximum distance you could fly and say that you managed to go fast and long enough to get to its location, whether or not it would spawn in or you would still have to travel to it. So I adjusted my, uh, my boost speed to 2000. And I adjusted the fuel to, I think, uh, I think the boost fuel I did to 98. And the recharge was also to 98. And it still it got the velocity, like the velocity boosting still got to a little over 10,000. And it still took a little over an hour to get and I did manage to go fast enough to get to the eye and what was cool and I did like is that if you can go fast enough and long enough the eyes you know vicinity it will eventually render in and you can dock without having to hit that X to travel to it so I was able to dock but it still took from above New Atlantis to travel to the eye at, a, at around 13,000, 14,000 kilometers. It still took me over an hour to do. But I confirmed that it works, so the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out whether... I need to figure out whether or not I'll be able to boost all the way to say like one of Jemison's moons, because that's even further and that would be kind of fun to try to do. Of course, it would take a really, really long time depending on how fast I decide to boost, but I want to see if it's doable. I wonder if I should do that tonight. I could do that as a video. It would be a really, really long video, but it might be kind of fun. 
Funny. Well, other than that, just the last night was... The kids had a lot of fun at the trampoline park. We couldn't take part because of liabilities and contracts and, you know, rules. There are some weird rules at that trampoline park. But what I will say is Tamara is that he's particularly unhappy with the waiver contract they've made him sign. Because in order to let your children play there, that you have to find a waiver for them because they're under a particular age. Being, you know, we'd be three and Buttercup is ten. Tamara didn't like the fact that one thing on Urban and yes, the trampoline park is called Urban Air, but they've been they've been bought out. Uh but it's still Urban Air. But what I saw in their waiver per, uh, pertaining to injuries, like whether minor or serious, they list all the things that you could be injured for, but one of them, you know, is say if something malfunctions, fails, or breaks, even if it's in, in the waiver, even if something breaks and you were following the rules, so it's something there or for it failing and, and causing an injury, you are still liable for it. The, 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 um, the waiver waives their liability. I or Tara does not like that at all. The fact that your waiver is waving away their liabilities and all liabilities for injury fall on the party, you know, the, the part, the injured party. Even if it was something that borrow one, one proper, you say if something like fell and it caused an injury, well, you're still liable for it because you signed the waiver. I don't like that. And obviously Terror doesn't either because it, to, to us, it, it seems like exactly the same thing that Bisbee's in trouble for in courts right now in the state of New York. Or that dude, or that man who, um, lost his wife to, uh, pretty much his wife not getting anaphylactic shock because they neglected to listen to her food allergy. And she died. So what Disney said is, oh, well, you signed up for a, uh, a free trial of Disney Plus. And because you signed up for Disney Plus and accepted the terms and conditions, you can't sue us for our negligence. You have to take it to arbitration. Because they're saying they're not liable for their mistakes. That's what it looked like to us is the thin thing. So if there needs to be in some kind of investigation of just how many businesses are putting in terms of service, uh, like terms of service waivers that waive their liabilities for negligent injuries. As it, to me, it seems like there are a growing number of companies and industries that are making their customers sign those kinds of waivers to say, oh, we're no longer liable for it. That's a huge, huge problem that needs to be dealt with immediately. Immediately. But I don't really need to be like, I don't want to rant on that for too long. Anyway, because before I get going, I do have to keep this one brief, because it's 7.23 p.m. right now. At the time, I'm saying this to you right now. But I do, I do kind of want to take a look at what's in this building behind us. There's a building right here, so I kind of want to see what's in it. Come with me. Oh, I smell... I see a lava lamp. I wake it in. How do I wake it in? How do I get in? Oh, you just opened the. You have to open. That's a lava lamp. It's a lava lamp. Wait, that's Wordle. I love lava lamps. Terry used to have a collect when he was a teenager. He had a collection of about. 15 different lava lamps in his room. He eventually had to reduce how many he had because they were breaking, they, they were popping the circuit in his dad's house. So he eventually had to reduce how many lava lamps he had. But there's a lava lamp in here. There's another TV up here. Um. There's this. Yes, I, I have, I still have to use Terra's account. It only makes sense to do that. Oh, let's see. You can't use the keyboard. Wait, not. <laughs> You can do a sick thing aboard. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see, hang on. All fingers. Oh, oh that's so cool. Hang on. That is really cool, but I'll, I'll turn that off. And it's also really loud because I forgot to turn the ball. There's a dining room. 
Oh, I feel like I have- Oh, right. I had- I had Death Wish coffee. Uh, there's a dining room table. You pan up, help up, pan up the silverware. There's one of those coffee machine things you can play with. Um, let's see, what's this? Uh, there is... Oh, that worries me. Room woo. Oh, you have to get VIP for it? I don't know if I want to go into room woo woo, kind of scares me. There's a bed right here. Which has the other TV up here. And oof. There's a there's a marble I like that it's a marble bathtub. Under the cliff side. Uh, let's see, there's a mirror right here. Oh, here's the mirror. And it works. I know me. Or you can do a transparent uh, that looks kinda cool. Where it still has that effect on there. But you can see yourself on there too. That's kinda cool. I like that. But we'll turn that off. Um there's a random laptop here. It does the seem to work. Sink does not work. There's... Okay, whoever made this place might have a drinking problem because right by the toilet... There's a wine glass right here. Look, I don't like that. I really don't like that that happens. Whoops, let's see... Do -do -do. Um, there we go. Better. I don't like my underwear sticking out. That's inappropriate. My goodness, this person has a drinking problem. Does the back pub work, though? Wait. I think it does. It does. However... How do you... So the bathtub works, but how do I join it? I don't know, but they- I like I said, they have a drinking problem because they have a- They have a glass of wine right here, too. With the bottle. Let's see. Um... The shower works. <laughs> I... I wonder if I should make this my new home world. Maybe. There's this glowing thing right here. It's That's kind of cute, right? I think I really like this world. You can lock this door. So you can lock it to keep people out. Yeah, and there's an upstairs area too. What do we got? Um... This is a wall. Got another one of those cute little things down here. And you can open... There's another toilet. Oh. Um. You can flush it, apparently. <laughs> then you can close it. There's another bedroom over here with another toilet. And it flushes too. There is a sh another shower right here. <sighs> Ooh. It's a rain ball shower. Wow. Oh, hey, that's actually a really cool effect. I think I'm going to make this my whole world. Hang on. Uh, make home. Yes. New whole world found. Thank you very much. But well, let's turn that off because I don't need to be showing that. There's a whole lot here. Um, there's a mirror. There's another TV above this bed too. But at least it's in a good position. The clock is accurate to the user. There's another me. Oh, that's the mirror. Okay. And some. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if it works. And hey, I like it. I got one ears now. There's a mini fridge. I wonder if this is the uh, designer. Hello, hello, pillow. <laughs> and the pillow has physics. That's amazing. Well, I think there's one more room in here. I'm kind of liking the bunny ears, though. That's fun. So there's another lava lamp right here. Ah, uh, as you already heard, I love lava lamps. There's. 
a sombrero or, you know, cowboy hat. I like I can really like the design of it. And let's see. There's a rock, paper, scissors machine. There's a wheel. Oh. And a driving arcade. There's um this thing. That thing right there. And of course, you know, more and more pool tables have been showing up in VR chat worlds, which I have zero qualms. Is that Pac-Man? Pac-Man and Minecraft sword. Up here, diamond pet sword, whatever. What? Him? Hey, a guy fox mask. I was I was wounded by it, or whatever. However that goes. And Ooh. Is it? Oh, it's kind of funky. I don't know. Hey, get off of me. There we go. Okay, so I can get the bunny ears off, but I'm going to keep them on right now. The question is, and we go to the beat, because there is a kind of lakeside beach here. It's just way down there. And I don't know if you can. I don't think you can, but there's a, a really pretty waterfall right here that comes way, way up there. And as you can see, there's kind of a beach with glowing rocks, but I don't know how to get down there. Or if you can. Oh, yes, there is a pool. There is a pool that you can have fun in. Which means it's gotta be heated if we've got snow capped mountains everywhere. Who doesn't like swimming, though? Sorry. I'm really... Usually my swimming involves using the butterfly. And apparently I can grab the camera by doing that. So I need to be careful. And yes, every time you walk anywhere, it's got sound. Um... We've got... Fence. Yeah. It's kinda nice down here. I like it. But can you leave? On. There's a gate right here. Evidently, no, you can't leave. Um. See, so you do buy the VR chat marketplace more Patreon to get VIP. This is really tempting to do maybe next year. Well, I don't know. Well, not exactly next year, but you, you know where I mean. Hang on. Uh oh. But anyway, this place is actually very, very nice. It's a really nice world. I liked it. A lot of features, although I will say it's quite dark. A little more brightness, or maybe like a night and day effect would be nice there too. But, you know, I'd say, I'd say that's more on the wishful sink. The sinking? Thinking side. But that's enough of that. This is, again, this is a really nice world. And, um... Dinner. I have to finish up with this. I need to make dinner because, you know, the kids need to eat. Lily wants to eat. I want to eat. And of course... I feel like there's a lot that still needs to be done. Anyway, this is Tessa Spade on your Sunday, September 15th, 2024. Day 259. Is it day 259? Oh my goodness. Yes, it's day 259. Oh, gear. Man, we're really making progress with this. That means day 260 is tomorrow. But it's day 259. I completely forgot to say that earlier, so I'm just gonna have to throw her in there with those one of those asterisks like, sorry! But anyway, I hope everyone enjoys the, their Sunday evening. If you're on the art chat, this is definitely a world worth checking out. The effects are glamorous, and again, it is. It is. It is a cro it, it's a cross-platform world, so it's very much worth looking at. I would love to explore this world with Lilia sometime, but we know it's going to be difficult for Lilia to get in here. Oh, by the way, so the um, the Grand Splat Fest just ended about a half hour ago. About. And we're just waiting, I think it's another hour and a half before they give the results for the Splatfest. So, those who played the Grand Splatfest this weekend on Splatoon 3 made the best team get their results. 
And I guess that's the end of Splatfest and Splatoon 3, I think. But anyway, enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. It is time for us to go. We will see you all tomorrow. So long, everyone. Oh. And what I will do... Is I'll give you the bunny ears. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? You can have the bunny ears. So long, everyone. Um... Here we go. I shouldn't be doing this like this. <laughs> anyway, see ya.